everybody. How are you? This is my bird, Blake. And Blake is going to be helping me with the weekly vibe and mantra, huh, Blake? And Blake also is doing training, parrot training, aren't ya? You doing that with me? We're doing some training with some other birds. Yes, we are. And that's on the YouTube channel. So this week is quite a week as we enter the first week of October. Right, Blake? The first week of October? Can you say hello? Can you say hello? Can you say hello? He's like, she's like, um, not right now. I'm not going to say hello right now, right? Not right now. Not right now. No. So this is a week that is really significant. The 5th through the 12th, I'm sorry, but if I don't get it exact, it's this is like the first week. I will get that right, won't I? Yes. Can you get that right? Yes, I am. It's like the 5th through the 12th, something like that. Tell everybody. So it's going to be a week where you feel like you're kind of like looking at yourself and you're going, what the heck is going on? You know, you feel like your life is kind of um, upside down. You're going to be feeling a lot of loss, a lot of feelings of fear, like things are repeating themselves. And it's really important to really be good to yourself and to nurture yourself, to love, to care, and to be good to yourself and to your animals, right? Yes. And the more, you know, the more loving we are to ourselves, the more love we create in our lives. And some of us may be going through some loss or some fear of loss. It's really important not to be afraid of that loss, but to know that sometimes we have to let go of certain things so that they can come back. And they can come back in a way that is right for the situation, for the person, or whatever lesson it holds for you and that person because that person or that situation always has a purpose. Just like birds, birds have wings, they fly, they talk, some of them, huh, Blake? But most of all, we all were born with wings or feet to move or whatever it is. Yes, are you showing your wings? You are, you showing your wings? And Blake is showing, getting new feathers, aren't we? We get new feathers. So what I do is every night, I especially this time of year, I'll hold Blake and come on, you wanna, yeah, wanna step up. I'll hold Blake and um, we'll actually pull out the tubes so Blake's new feathers can come in. So Blake gives us a lot of neat gifts of brand new feathers. So. And Blake is a gift. And you want to talk, I want to talk about Blake for a minute. How did I get Blake? I actually manifested Blake. I was thinking, I want a bird. And um, this was about, gosh, it was in 98. And I was like, I really want a bird. I really, really want a bird. And so I, um, just happened to say it and a week lady, later a lady came into my store like the way and said I have a baby for you and I want you to have a baby for me <laughs> are you serious and she said yeah do you want a baby and I'm like uh -huh, I already have three right now and now I have five but at the time I had three and she said yes it's a parrot and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I never thought I could even afford a parrot. And she gave me a parrot. I just put that out there into the unified field or the universal conscious as we call it. Um, they call it the same or super conscious. It's called many things. That's the field of 
energy that all of us share. And it's actually the field I talk about in my book, Wake Up Your Intuition. Because when you can raise your consciousness and your awareness to that field, you can do so many things. So as we open up and we raise our frequency and we reach up into that field and we communicate, it's so amazing because we're able to actually connect with energy and vibration and we're able to manifest things. And so she said, I just had a, I I raised parents and I had one that was born a little late. And so this one won't be able to be with the other ones because she gives flight school and teaches trust and all those things. And so that's what Blake and I are doing because we went through some training when Blake was just a baby. And so I went over and Blake didn't have any feathers. He looked like a little, didn't you? She looked like a dinosaur. And her feathers grew in. I took her into work with me and pulled, you know, as her feathers came in. And um, I had a little basket and I hand fed her. And she was in an incubator when I got to bring her home. And then soon she grew to have all her feathers. And now I'm her mama. I'm her mama. And um, she, she's my baby. So I'm real. And yeah, I love birds. <laughs> so people, they, they tease me because I'll come into their house. And I'm like, oh, can I hold your bird? And they'll say, my bird's never been held. And I'll just put my hand in there and. The bird, what does the bird do when they want to know if they trust you? Put their tongue out. They lick, they'll like, see? And they'll do that just to see if they trust you. So, you know, birds are pets too. So, So this week, it's important to have faith. And if something moves away from you or something isn't working out, it's probably going to be better. It'll be some situation that if you let it be, it will turn out to be a better situation for you. So it's important to have faith and work with that frequency of the higher consciousness. And I wanted to share with you that I am my Facebook page, Kimmy Rose, and that's K-I-M-M-I-E, then Rose, R-O-S-E. I have a ton of videos that I do and um, share a lot every single day to help people to wake up. And I'm sharing a lot about soul depression because a lot of people are in that. And they're like having a hard time, having struggles with feeling like they just like, they've got this like part of them inside of them that wants to wake up and they just can't, or they want to do something and they don't know what it's about and they go to counseling and things like that, medication isn't working. So one of the things that I do is soul retrieval. And then we are able to, through another one of our readers, whose name is Davin, she does the Akashic Records readings. And so we're able to do and work with that. So, you know, this is a time where people are really looking deeper. They're peeling away at the layers and going within. And so trust this week. Trust the process. Trust the process of life. And when you trust the process of life, you say trust. Yeah. When you trust the process of life, life gives you beautiful things. Just like I got Blake. That's what it's all about. And so we're going to do a weekly mantra because Blake here, we've got to do some feathers. We're going to pull those feathers out, don't we? Yeah. So I would just like you for a moment just to take a moment. And we're just going to do a... Thank you, Blake. Close your eyes. Within me, I will. Joy as the passion that I have inside opens up. 
like a lotus and I bring in my destiny. Now let's shorten that. Within me, I bring in joy and I manifest my destiny. Within me, I bring in joy and I manifest my destiny. Within me, I bring in joy and I manifest my destiny, my destiny. Peace, joy, and love to you. From me and Blake. No, can you see every no? You're just gonna look at mama, huh? I just wanna wish you a lot of joy, a lot of peace, and also enjoy waking. This is a wonderful time. And I know as we're in COVID, all this COVID and just this pandemic, all this stuff, know that inside of you is a voice waiting to be heard. Coming 